What is this place, Lucina? I feel a magical power here. This appears very similar to Arena Ferox. Most curious. Ferox? That's a place from your world, right? Yes. Ferox is a kingdom divided by East and West, with a militaristic Khan overseeing each. Every so many years, a fighting tournament is held to determine which Khan will rule them all. Arena Ferox is where I cross swords with my father. He taught you swordsmanship, yes? It must have been an interesting, if fierce bout. Yes. It was a hard fight. He had no idea who I was and held nothing back. He'd trained me well, but that fight was when I first saw just how strong my father really was. That must be precisely why this familiar place was chosen as a trial ground. Trial ground? What does that mean? We each feel the extraordinary power here. Tell me what it feels like deep down. It's almost like I'm sensing your power, but also like you're far away. Well then, draw your weapon. Fight me. If you pass the trial, our bond will grow stronger. With a stronger bond, you will be able to draw upon more of my power as an emblem. I hope I can learn as much in this arena as you did. That's good to hear. However, it's going to require more than hope for you to win this battle. You're going to be surprised if you think I'm only bringing hope to this fight. That's the spirit. I'm ready. Men! I'm here for you. Ike! I'm ready. Don't hold back. Strengthen our bond. Fight with everything you've got. Won't lose. I can fight. I'm ready. Whatever you ask. How do I look? Time to open up shop. I'll help her. One less for me, huh?
battle a chance to grow. Here until the end. Allow me to demonstrate. I can keep going. Given. I'm here. Next one's mine. Do you mind? Next one. Do one for me. I'm ready to dig in. A good wind. All training. Yeah. 
I won't let anyone down! for the right to rule? It's almost like fate brought us here. The Khans didn't battle. They picked champions to fight on their behalf. Whew. If that is the case, I think it fortunate that this place is not the true arena. <laughs> Indeed. Now, come at me. I'll help. <laughs> I can go on. You were a good fight. You won't win just by standing there. Your stance has no openings. I don't see how I could hit you no matter where I strike. Doubt will only dull your attacks. Trust in yourself and come at me with everything. <sighs> Understood. Here I come. I'm here. <laughs> 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 Your combat skills have grown admirably. Compared to when we first met, you've grown strong and become a formidable opponent. Thank you. It is in no small part because of your guidance, Lucina. Such kind words. If I helped you at all, then I couldn't be happier. There's a lesson there, you know. What one person can achieve on their own is limited. I agree. I couldn't have come this far by myself. Everything I've accomplished has been thanks to those who have fought beside me. I'm relieved to hear that. I feel my friends close by, even now. Their spirits live on in me. Their spirits live on. The power of my bonds with them helped us to change a hopeless future, the same as you are now, with your own allies. You are one of those allies, Lucina, aren't you? Of course. I'll fight with you until the very last. Then we can't lose, no matter what the world sends our way. You're right. Our bonds are far stronger than destiny. Excellent!
divine one! Wow! Hmm. Remarkable. Yes. If I may... Well done! Hmm... That's true! Well then? Now then. Yes. I'll be here. Uh-huh.
Ha! Ah, divine one! Wow! Uh, of course. It would be an honor to make this for you. What is a dragon's favorite food? I'm dying to know. You were in my thoughts as I prepared this, Divine One. <laughs> sure. My favorite meals include lots of sweets. I am the chef, Bounet. Please, go easy. This should be a picturesque match. What? Oh dear, this night has met her match. The taste of victory is sweet indeed. this chance go to waste. I'm Fogata, Psalm's very own prince. He wasn't strong enough. Today's workout begins now. No need to be shy. Thanks for showing me what I still need to work on. I did all that training so I could fight for my country, but it doesn't feel great that I have to. Then let's move swiftly and end the war, so that we can all put our blades down for good. I am here. I'm Lucina. Spar with me. This is nothing. Let's see what you can do. I lost? Lucky, I suppose. Thanks to you, I can continue to serve the Divine Dragon. I want you to know I'm grateful. I did not do it for thanks. I did it because it was right. I am Alcrest, a prince of Brodia. Let the lesson begin. <laughs> 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 Not setting a very good example. I'm sorry. Are you hurt? You handled that last battle well, Alchrist. <sighs> Are you saying that I'm not challenging myself enough? I'll work much harder next time. Ogato here, captain of the Sentinels. Better be ready. I'm Ike of the Grail Mercenaries. Nothing! Next time for 
for sure. That was fun. Thanks. Gotta say, it's strange to think someone as serious as you spent all that time in our castle. Huh. Wasn't strange to me. I used to travel with these mercenaries. It felt a lot like that. Thanks for stopping by! I am Lynn of the Lorca tribe. Oh, you're the emblem from my father's ring? You're almost as cute as I am. That's quite a compliment, considering how adorable you are. Stunning performance. I'm impressed. Do you want to keep going? Come back soon. We meet again, Princess Hortensia. We do indeed meet, Princess Celine. Let the competition commence! The first event will be... The Softness Contest! Who will be softer? You or me? Let's try you first. Poke! <laughs> that tickles! <gasps> the Softness Contest is hereby cancelled. So soon? Strategic adjustments need to be made. That's unfortunate. I wanted to have a turn to poke at you. Wait, really? Hey, no! Your mind games won't distract me! We're competitors! <laughs> of course we are! Uh, what is wrong with me? This girl's so adorable, she's messing with my mind! <gasps> Insidious! My turn! Let's see how soft you are! Poke! I told you! That contest is cancelled! Forgive me. I was overcome with curiosity and couldn't help myself. Why is she smiling like that? Oh, why do I like it? Enough of your tricks! I'm the cutest there is! I'll never be outdone! Ha! There she goes again. Drat. It seems I once more missed my chance to invite her to tea. Army's too pretty. It's not right. How am I supposed to be the cutest when the competition is this gorgeous? Aha! Say no more! Wait, you're only a troubled maiden's best friend, the one and only Lady Anna! Cha ching! If it's cuteness you're after, Princess Hortensia, you might be interested in my beauty line. You have my attention! I should tell you though, I'm kinda picky about product. I guarantee satisfaction with everything I sell. After all, what I've got on offer today is tailored just for you. You're confident. I like that. Okay, show me what you got. Of course! First is this pink rouge. Just a dab stays on all day. Apply it in the morning and forget about it. Ooh. There's also lipstick, soap, skin cleanser, and a crystal enchanted to add shine to your hair. And finally, an accessory case to hold it all. The rainbow palette makes you cute just holding it. These are incredible. I've got to have them. I'll take them all. Thanks for the business. Oh, I'm making a killing. 
You deserve it. Your stuff's impressive. I'm gonna be more adorable than ever. Indulge me in a little market research. Why do you want to be cute, Princess Hortensia? Uh, because the cuter you are, the more people like you. Obviously. So it's a popularity thing for you. Huh. Of course. Anyway, I'm off. Gotta see how well this is gonna come together for my look. Thanks, Lady Anna. Princess Hortensia, you're not busy, are you? Let's grab a cup of tea. Prince Fogato! I know I'm irresistible, but I'm also a princess. You shouldn't be hitting on me. I'm not up to anything, I promise. Was hoping to have a nice, chaste exchange of ideas. Hmm, act innocent if you want. But even in Illusia, we've heard what a flirt you are. People talk about me all the way in Illusia? I'm flattered. You wouldn't be if you heard what they said. Why put stock in gossip? I want to have tea and learn of each other's countries. That's all. No thanks. Besides, my sister needs help today. Hey, you're a prince. Shouldn't you have a ton of work too? Solm is a queendom, so my sister is first in line to the throne, not me. So you just waste the day away wandering around and flirting? Not flirting, patrolling. Oh, okay then. You definitely got me there. Hey, why aren't you helping Princess Tamara? Lighten her workload! <laughs> Ouch, that's harsh. Oh well, if you happen to change your mind and decide you like tea, just tea, I'm around. Chloe, here to beg me some more, I take it? Sure am. From where did this bizarre love of folk food spring? You grew up in a noble family. Yeah, and all they served me back home was high cuisine. For most people, that would be great. But me, I went to this Viennese festival one day. I caught this salty, sweet scent from a back alley, so I followed it to find out what it was. That was how you discovered folk food. Yep, without even thinking, I bought some food from the stall and tried it. It was mind-blowing. The flavor, the smell, the texture. I'd never had anything like it in my life. To the child of a rich family, I see how it could offer some perverse sense of thrill. Sadly, there was no chance my family would let me dine out. And I could forget about folk food. They'd be horrified to know I ever even tasted it. Oh, I see. You couldn't eat it while you lived at home. Not necessarily. Once I had my first taste, I started going out behind my parents' backs. I'd eat the folk food on my Pegasus and get rid of any evidence by tossing the wrappers. Littering, you mean? Yeah, I feel bad about that now. I always take care to toss my trash properly these days. But that's my story in a nutshell. Your passion for food. I recognize it. I hesitate to admit it is much like my own. You have persuaded me. For you and only you, I will try my hand at making folk food. <gasps> you mean it? But what I cook will be of the highest quality. I cannot cut corners on purpose, so do not complain if it differs from your expectations. No complaints, I promise. Thanks, Bunei. You've made me a very happy lady. Oh, I can't wait to try your first batch of folk food. Prince Fogato! Hey, hey! What's going on, Prince Alchris? Why are you running away from me? I apologize. You're always in such high spirits. I feared my presence might dampen your mood. Yeesh. I think you're being a little hard on yourself. Besides, we actually have a lot in common. You're the second prince of a kingdom. I'm the first prince of a queendom. Tomato, Fogato. I suppose you're right. <sighs> um, why the sigh? We do hold similar positions, but if that is the case, why are we so different? You're so carefree and sociable, and I'm a dismal burden on everyone I meet. There you go again. Always so negative. Not that I mind your dour attitude. It's actually one of the reasons I like you. You find me likable? But that's impossible. I don't deserve such kindness. 
Oh, this is bad. If you continue, I may find myself in a dangerous spot. Oh, what's so dangerous about me? That! Your gentle eyes and accepting smile? Please, don't look at me. Your pure heart is shining a spotlight on me. You reveal me for the waste that I am. I... I have to go. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ah, <laughs> man. That guy really knows how to make an exit. Ah, <sighs> what am I gonna do? About what, Prince Figato? Oh, hey, Lapis. You know I'm in charge of the Sentinels, yeah? We've got a real thorn in our side. A group of rogues making trouble by an oasis in Solm. They're a slippery bunch. Even with our numbers, we can't stamp them out. Have you considered making a device that will get rid of the rogues for you? You know, something that can drive them off without you having to lift a finger. Hmm, not a bad idea. But I don't know anyone who could make something like that. Me, of course. You? I'm pretty crafty. Ever since I was young, I've been able to make everything I needed. So yeah, I bet I could whip something up. All right, let's give it a whirl. Tell me if you need any materials. See if you can find any trash or tree branches lying around. That ought to do it. What? Really? Yeah. The sooner you get that stuff, the sooner those rogues will be out of your hair. Um, all right. I'll go trawling for anything that looks useful then. Me? Desperate? No, I'm just trying to solve my problems with a big pile of trash. Make ready. Kagetsu himself has arrived to wake you. Sorry to be late. I overslept. It is evening. I hope you had nothing important to do. I see my future. Fender is scolding me. That is best avoided. I must go. <laughs> Ooh. What? Yes. Oh, wow. Stunning performance. I'm impressed. Come back soon. Um, clan? Psst. Clan? Clan? Ah! My apologies, Divine One. Is everything okay? You were really out of it. I'm fine. Got a little distracted, that's all. Okay, listen. I think you might be wearing yourself out. What? No, I'm not. I was just... Uh... I'm... Really not. Admit it. Your plate's too full with everything you do for me. What? No! Absolutely not. If anything, it's not full enough. Pile my plate with more of those tasty, tasty responsibilities. Anything for the Divine Dragon. 
Seriously, whatever you tell me to do, I'll do it. Go ahead, give me an order. Well, if you insist, I order you to get some rest. <gasps> no fair. You cheated. Sorry, you're irreplaceable. I can't have you wearing yourself out. You have to take some time off so that you're ready in case the worst happens. But... but... Rest, clan. That's an order. All right. If you insist, I'll just... lie down for a bit. <laughs>